it's often how we start World's Strongest Man with a loading event. And I think apart from my earlier days in Strongman, I've struggled with these type of events. As I've got older, I've got slower and lazier. Yeah, we've got a good, a good moment coming up now. You got me and Zadrunas on the yoke. Um, I think one guy had just gone, Nick Best had gone before me and hit a blistering time. Everyone was saying that, you know, no one's gonna beat that. And then I come and smash it, break another world record on the yoke. It's funny, cause like you watch back and it's like, oh, is that, that's me. But you're so kind of involved in the, in the actual moment at the time. You know, you know, I've said some stupid things. I think there was um, a squat video there and I'm just kind of going about how I've got the strongest legs in the world. And you just, you know, I, I'm a heart on the sleeve kind of person. I, I kind of go with that moment and you can always tell by my face how I'm feeling. I'm quite expressive in the face when, I, when I'm competing. You see different kind of moods on my face and stuff like that. Um, you know, if I'm not happy, you know about it. <laughs> Obviously you have friends back home, but um, the friends that I've made through Strongman understand what you go through on a daily basis. Uh, I'm just watching me and Mark here on the, the Atlas Stones. He's become a great friend of mine. Mark's someone that I looked up to, you know, he, he's been committing longer than I have. And he's someone I looked up to when I was first getting into the sport. And just a really, really nice person as well. And I've met so many cool people through Strongman. And like I said, I think that fact that we all understand each other, we know what the struggle, the daily struggles are for each other and you know how tough it is to do this sport. It gives you all kind of a, a real understanding and respect for each other. This is probably the worst possible point in my strongman career, doing the Norse Hammers in 2015. These, this event was just terrible. Everyone struggled on it. And obviously, you're gonna see in a second, I get crushed by this hammer. Um, and that, that was a tough point for me. It kind of, I'd already come back from a number of injuries and it was probably the point where I, 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 I pretty much gave up, you know, I was done with it. It was only thanks to the support of my family, you know, my wife, my mum, that got me back into training. And I, I, I came back and won some of my biggest competitions after that, so. Everyone loves this picture. Um, I, I, I can't even kind of explain it. You can tell by our faces how, how happy we are in, in this. We were actually stood in this, these outfits for about an hour on this boat. And um, I think our faces explain everything. You know, you can see the joy. <laughs> I, I, quite, I, I find it funny looking back on it, but yeah, I don't think either of us were too happy at the time. <laughs> More than anything, obviously when I was younger, it was just about winning. You know, I wanted to be the world's strongest man. Um, but over a long career, I've kind of changed things a little bit. What I like now is how I've kind of inspired other people to kind of either get into strongman or to kind of never quit on the things that they do. I think that fact that I've kept coming back from, from so many knockdowns has, has probably been my legacy more than anything. You know, I've won some fantastic competitions over the years. You know, when I get people message me telling me that I've inspired them and, you know, it's helped them in, in their walk of life, that means more to me than any titles do. So, so for me, definitely that's kind of, you know, what I want my legacy to be. Um, the competition wise, that's for me, but if I'm inspiring other people then, you know, that's really humbling and a, a, just such a, a nice feeling to see.